channel so this video is a chit chat session with you guys and in this video we are gonna interact a little and this video is about the q a which i had asked on my instagram two weeks back and yeah thank you for all the responses and uh, yeah i was very happy to see all the questions because it was my first q a and uh, it was the first time i had asked for this and uh, yeah the response was quite well so i have selected 10 questions here and I'm gonna answer one by one all the 10 relevant questions okay few were irrelevant, irrelevant so I'm sorry I, I can't answer to all those so yeah first thing is I think three people asked me the same question how do you plan your time man time how do you manage your time and I mean between making of YouTube videos and your hectic PG schedule so yeah this is uh, not a uh, simple question to uh, answer because yeah it might look easy but managing uh, a youtube channel and also uh, doing post graduation in a professional field is not easy it takes time and it takes a lot of dedication and uh, yeah sometimes i feel that yeah i am managing my time very well and efficiently but sometimes there are days when i feel that i um, i question my decision like whether i am good enough or whether i should do this so it is not easy and uh, since the time i started my youtube channel i never took it easy i never took it lightly because i try to uh, maintain that consistency because i feel that consistency is very important in whatever you do so i try to maintain that con consistency and i try to upload at least one video every week so yeah there are times when i pat myself on my back and say that yeah you are doing great yeah how do you do that but there are times when i doubt myself that whether i am doing it right or whether i should really do both of it together so how i manage my time is that i try to balance both of it as much as possible and when i have college uh, the only day i shoot my video videos are on sundays and i take two three days to edit and upload it so weekly one video i try to maintain that consistency and other six days i try to give all of my focus on you and studies as much as possible but yeah i take few hours to uh, write down the script and also to plan about my videos and also if i have my seminars or if i have any exam uh, on those days i try to stay away from thinking or planning about youtube or uh, yeah that's all this is how i manage my time <laughs> next is are you gonna pursue youtube at whole professional level and would you continue if you get involved in practice later so I never start something with uh, with the motto in my mind that I'm gonna quit it. So I don't like quitting basically. And uh, even uh, no matter how much busy I get in future, yeah, I might lose that consistency of uploading once one video in a week. But I will make sure that I will upload at least one video in a month. So. Um, no matter how hard it is, no matter how difficult it's gonna get, I'm never gonna quit YouTube because it is something very special which has happened to me. So now moving on to the next question that is, there are many dentists who are under pressure of studies and which field to go for and have you ever thought of going as a professional motivational speaker to motivate young dentists? So first talking about the motivational speaking, motivational speakers they always fascinate me the way they speak, the way they present themselves in front of group of people with so much confidence. I always wanted to do that and I always when I see or I watch I used to watch that show and I always wanted to be a dead speaker but one thing was I was fighting myself with my mind that oh, you are such an introvert how could you go and speak in front of a group of people but deep inside my mind and heart I always wanted to do that and uh, now I think since I started my youtube channel I have um, boosted up my confidence level a little and uh, talk. if you ask me if I want to be a motivational speaker and if I want to motivate young dentists in future I would love to do that even if I would not make to TED, TED stage but I would uh, love to motivate young generation with my YouTube channel at least. And next question we had in the same question was that which field to go for. I never uh, tell you that you have to force yourself to, to a particular field just because the field is good but I would like to tell you guys that uh, do something only if you love it don't force yourself 
just because society is asking you to go or your parents or your family wants you to do that if you are really interested in something please go for it because you live only once and you have only one life and yeah you have to do whatever you love and don't miss any chance and regarding dentistry i don't I, I can't tell you that this particular field is good and you have to force yourself the same thing what I told now so whatever field you are interested in and whatever you think that you are good at you should go for that field next question is from one of my orthodontist friend which I think most of you will not understand that is do you prefer MBT or DPH bracket so when talking about the mechanism I think for the kind of malocclusion I had that was class 2 due to with deep bite I think DPH was the best option for it but when we talk about the affordability yes i went for mpt and i think most of the people will have you ever been in love yes of course every day every day i do fall in love with myself believe me guys it's an eternal love dream place uh, talking about my dream place i have a big, this big dream of traveling the whole world one day so i cannot list all the places i want to go so but still first has to be paris amsterdam greece new york vietnam and not forgetting the most favorite destination dream destination hawaii and yes i love beaches next question here is when is your marriage so i am in my mid 20s and i think this is a very young age to get married and especially in this generation so i'm not getting married until i am 30 and until i own a big villa with a big car yes i'm not getting married anytime soon before i do that have you ever said ha yeah, you when you saw someone's state since I'm this profession, I can't say it aloud when I see someone's teeth, but my patients know it well that the lecture, amount of lecture they get from me every month. So yes, I do feel disgusted, but now I'm used to it. It's next question is, and this is also one of the last question. How was your experience when you first uploaded a YouTube video? So um, it was just like an unplanned trip to an unknown destination when you are traveling solo and you have no idea of how you're gonna do it and you are nervous. Yeah, it was just like that and I had no idea because I was technically so bad and I could not imagine myself editing a whole video or I didn't know how to take a video. But uh, I was so determined in my mind that yes, you have been planning this for two years that you want to own a YouTube channel and this is the time, this is the right time and you have to do it. Yeah, that was my attitude, personal attitude and uh, yeah, I took a video and I somehow edited it and uploaded it and I could not believe it. Yes, as soon as I uploaded, uh, I started getting views and I had zero subscribers at least uh, except my brother and my mother, I think I had told them to up subscribe and also few of my friends and but my views were increasing and I was so happy to see that and I was also confused that who the hell is watching this but I was internally so happy and I was so shocked also overnight I got I think around 60 70 views and I was shocked and I was happy at the same time and I get the same feeling whenever I upload even now whenever I upload any video yeah, so it was a very happy and very satisfying experience. Thank you so much guys for watching this video till the end. And I hope you enjoyed this video knowing more about me. And I hope that you guys know me more than you used to know me before this video. So yes, I think this interactive session is going to help. And I think that we should keep it like at least once in a month, every month. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. And I have a whole plan of making very different kind of videos this week. Please, please, please stay tuned for more updates. And uh, if you are not following me on other social media account like Instagram, Facebook, you can do that. And I'll follow you back too. And you should mention that you are coming from a YouTube channel. Okay, only then. And uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe.